Hi, all sorry about the mess on the table, but it always looks like this, so no matter how I clean it and try to arrange it, it will always look, look the same. So this is Dyson V10, and the problem with it is that it fell a lot of time, and you can see there are many cracks. There is a crack here, and there is a crack here, and I try to glue it with uh, with epoxy glue eventually did not work very well and there are some contact problems and I also have one crack here that I'm not going to fix because I can't so I try to search uh, for parts and haha I got the same housing somehow on I think Aliexpress searching for it you can find anything you want so let's see how difficult it is to do the replacement so I will try to do it so first thing maybe to take whoa the filter off you see a lot of dust on the filter whoa okay I will have to clean it later and then you should take this part off and if you're at the end of taking it, it's a little tricky. So you should have you should have some thing to press on the side when it is fully out. I'm trying uh, maybe maybe I need no 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 no, but I can't get there is, ah, you see there is a stick here that you need to press in order to take it off and if you press it goes out easily so this is the cleaning bin and then what you want to do is of course take off the battery, you have two screws, Phillips screws here no matter which Phillips screwdriver you, you try they never fit exactly the, the same I never understand how Dyson made these Phillips screws that are not exactly Phillips, I don't know what they are, but eventually you can take it out okay, and then you have another one here on the handle and the battery should go out if you take all the three, so the battery should go out here I think it, it's already maybe glue with the glue you see it's not in the best situation because I try to glue it but it will go off and as you can see the glue is not exactly the best thing to do okay so in order to replace this part I need to uh, remove screws here I don't remember if these are Phillips yeah it looks like they are Phillips so you have some screws here one two three four four screws here and I think it's more or less the same for other Dyson so if you've seen it once you're probably good with it okay last one yeah and now after taking this out no, there are two additional screws here 
I always forget them. And I already have a lot of dust on my table that I will need a Dyson to clean it. So I will use another Dyson. Aha, so these are going with a bigger screwdrive. You see that the, all the screws here are the same, so no issue with it. And just after taking this six, yeah, it should go out. Yeah. Wow, a lot of mess and dirt. So maybe it's a good way to clean it now. Okay, now we are almost there. Whoa, this is also broken. I can't believe it. Maybe I will try to glue it. Okay, so you have two additional screws here, but one I see is broken. So, ah, but these are not Phillips. These are different. The guys here are Torx. So you need a torque and I need to find the torque size yeah and I found like a magic so we have one here and one on the other side the other side is stuck so you see I'm using just my hand force and not any electric screwdriver because you don't need it basically. Okay and now you see it's broken here. Everything is broken, I don't understand how they were able to break everything. Now this is a little tricky. You need to push it inside and then take this plastic out. You can use some flat screwdriver in order to do it. If you open all the sides, it should go out. So the tricky this part. Did I miss something? I don't think so. I'm almost sure it should go out. Yeah, with a lot of dust again, cleaning it. Okay, and now is the tricky part. I will have to glue it, but I will show you what is the tricky part. So first you need to uh, to disassemble, let's see if we need to disassemble it, or uh, maybe, yeah, what you need to do is, of course, to disconnect uh, the sensor and the two screws here that are uh, the motor main power. For this one, you will need a screwdrive with a little force because you will not be able to take them it out 
by hand force because this is yeah this is closed very well so I'm using a screwdriver so one screw you see whoa a lot of dust a lot of dust and as you can see already I have a broken part here Ah, but I think I don't need it because the, the, the new handle will have it all fixed. You see this part of plastic. So let's clean again. And after taking this part out, so there, there is, yeah, the This sensor is very, very gentle and I already broke it. So I will try very gently to take it out because it was broke already. So you have this sensor and this part and now you can remove the motor. You can gently remove, yeah. And now you, you see all the broken part is this and I don't need it anymore. Maybe I can remove the, the trigger that is breaking a lot of time. Now, let's see the new part. Yeah, it should fit like a magic. So, what you need to do is align this in the opposite direction, but before doing it, maybe try to clean a little the motor with a brush or something toothbrush why not clean it if it is already open as much as you can not a lot can be done but yeah something like this maybe and now we are doing everything in the opposite direction the trick is to put these two wires through the hole and this is a little tricky so you might need to bend a little and and try with uh, with taking this sensor and gently use some tweezers or something to catch it and to bring it to the right direction and then you have the power and before doing it also a line here on the top this is the uh, uh, the, the switch that determine what speed you are using yeah, maximum speed, medium or minimum. And then what you want to do is, again, it's, you see it's, it's very tricky because you push here, it goes inside and then on the other side it goes out. So this is the, the tricky part here. So, yeah, you need to have some expertise here. Make sure that both wires are at the same time inside because otherwise it's, it's, a, it's a very tricky part. I hate it. It's always a mess. Do it. But at the end, you always succeed. So maybe what you can do uh, is try to find some tool. 
I will show you if you don't have record something like this. Yeah, to catch it. Yeah, and succeeded. So now, what you want to do is the sensor should be between those wires. Do it very gently because you can cut by mistake the sensor wire. This is the most tricky part, I guess. And then you need to align those back to the connection. So we'll start with those. It's again, it's not very easy. But surely can be done. Maybe I need four hands. I found that I have only two, so... Yeah, so for me, this part is... is the problem. Yeah, so I think it is connected somehow. What I do is put a Kepton tape in my case. Hopefully your connector is not broken like mine. So I'm taking a piece of Kepton tape and put it something like this. Yeah, I think it will hold it okay. And now I'm doing an extra closing. Another quarter of a move. And now yeah, now we can put uh, this guy back. Yeah, I remind you that what you need to do is push it, pull it, sorry, not push it, pull it. You push it when you want to disassemble and when you want to assemble back, you need to pull it. We'll do it in a second. Remember, this is a plastic, so I advise not to use power tools because you can break the plastic. So as you can see, I'm doing it by hand. Okay, now this part you need to take it with some force but yeah you be careful not to break the plastic so not too much force yeah now yeah we can already try to see if this is working by putting the battery inserting it of course it will not work because you need now the filter and my filter is very dirty so I will clean it a little. Yeah, I will clean it with a Dyson. Make sure always to clean a Dyson with a Dyson. Now we'll try. So the other parts are pretty easy to close. And yeah. So let's do now the reverse engineering so i remind you i will remove the battery 
we have the four screws here. Uh, yeah, but the screws, yeah, they are catching, of course, this part. So you need, you need basically to align these two parts together. Yeah, and after the aligned, you can now close the six screws. So you have four here. the filter, put the battery back, we have the three battery screws, two on the bottom side, And last one is here on the handle side. And I think we are done. So, the new part is also cracked a little. This is strange, but never mind. Better than the total broken one with all the glue and all the cracks. So that's all, hope you enjoy, thank you and bye.